Hello students, in this particular session, I'd like to discuss about uh, integration by parts. Integration by parts is nothing but uh, integration of, we are finding the integration of the product of two functions, okay? Like in the derivative, we already learned the uh, derivative product rule u into v, like that only in the integral, whenever we are integrating a product of two functions, we are using integration by parts, okay? In this one, I'd like to derive the formula first, concentrate here. First, what we know already, I'd like to write, derivative of u into v, we know, okay? First, I'll write whatever we know, from that, I'd like to derive it, okay? It will be u, derivative of v, okay, plus v, derivative of u, got it? After this one, I'd like to write this term on the left hand side means uh, that term as it is u dv by dx is equal to, is equal to what? d by uh, dx of, it is u into v, this uh, v du by dx on left hand side means it will be minus v du by dx. Got the point clearly? After this step, I'd like to take a integrating integrating with respect to x it will be integral of u dv by dx with respect to x is equal to integral of d by dx of u into v after this one minus integral of v du by dx into dx. Got the point clearly? After this one, I'd like to write the term u, here dx dx will be eliminated, integral of u dv is equal to integral of derivative of any function will be the same function I had write. Why? Because derivative and integral are inverse process. Got the point clearly? After this one, minus integral of v derivative of u dx dx will be eliminated this is the particular formula okay this will be the formula but you need to understand regularity from this particular formula i'd like to explain that formula how to understand the formula okay concentrate on the board for the this particular last step okay here u is u is what function it is a first function dv is second function okay now I'd like to write first function as a u instead of writing dv I'm writing v here how I have to write the integration of two for product functions so, u first function u as it is how to get dv means from dv I need to get v means integration of dv will be v that's why I need to write integration of v integration of second function I wrote okay after this one minus one integral as it is how to get dv means how to get v from dv means on integrating dv we'll get v for that reason i'd like to write in the bracket i'd like to write integral of v okay after that du means it is a derivative of u derivative of v will be du getting the point clearly it's a simple formula that i wrote actually the formula is given in this manner in the te in your textbook integral of u into v with respect to x it will be u integral of v dx got the point clearly minus integral of derivative of u means they are writing this one as a d by dx of very clearly d by dx of first function u got it after this one after this one one more bracket integral of integral of v integral of v with respect to x after completion of this one main integral with respect to x this is the actual formula okay just i'd like to explain this formula by using this method integral of u into v will be first function integral of second function minus double integral of uh, second function derivative of first function and in this integration by parts 
we need to use means how we have to select first term and second term in the derivative it was very clear first function second function you can take any function but to make the problem simple in the integration by parts we have to take uh, some rule that is nothing but uh, by the eyelet rule the first function and second function will be decided now i'd like to explain the eyelet rule I wrote the formula in the simple way integral of u into v can be written as u integral of v minus double integral of v du means this integral is related to only v here derivative of first function I had to do and including these two I need to integrate here got the point and first and second functions will be decided by using the rule I late rule okay the rule name is I late rule what is the meaning of I late rule I will be I is nothing but an inverse function it is inverse function means uh, whenever the function product is given in if the inverse function is there means I need to select the first function as a inverse function after that the next one is the logarithmic function it is logarithmic function logarithmic function a means a is nothing but a algebraic function algebraic function got the point clearly after that t means that you know already trigonometric function trigonometric function next will be e will be exponential function exponential exponential function okay in this order I need to select the function for example example integral of x sine inverse of x into dx what is the first function here u is sine inverse of x is u because it is a inverse function v x is algebraic function first inverse after that algebraic this will be v got it one more example i'd like to take example e to the power x into log x dx if the example is like this e to the power x means exponential it is the last i need to take second logarithmic is before that that's why the first function is log is a first function v is nothing but a e raised to x okay based upon this i'd like to discuss few problems got it okay i wrote the example integral of x sin x into dx okay i wrote the formula also integral of u into v will be u integral of v minus double integral of v derivative of u okay based upon i let rule i l a t based upon this particular order i'd like to select here got it see here x is a algebraic function okay sine is a trigonometric algebraic first means it will be treated as a u sine will be treated as a v okay i'll use the formula that is u x as it is integral of sin x dx minus integral of flower bracket integral of what is v it will be a sin of x dx again d by dx of what is u u is nothing but a x into dx got it now x as it is integral of sin will be minus cos of x minus integral of sin will be minus cos of x derivative of x will be 1 into dx okay the answer will be minus x cos x minus into minus will be plus integral of cos will be sin of x plus c we got the required result observe the next example that they given x square e raised to x x square is the algebraic function e raised to x is the exponential algebraic function is first that's why it will be u and this will be v okay i'd like to apply the formula x square integral of e raised to x dx minus integral of integral of e raised to x dx close the bracket after that derivative of u means d by dx of what is u u is nothing but a 
x square here into dx. Got it? Now x square as it is e raised to x integral will be e raised to x minus the next will be integral of what is integral of e raised to x? e raised to x. What is x square derivative? It will be 2x into dx. Got the point? Then the next step will be x square e raised to x. Observe the next example that is integral of x square e raised to x. x square is an algebraic function. e raised to x is an exponential. Algebraic first, that's why it is u. This will be v. Got it? Now, what I have to write u. What is u? x square integral of what is v? e raised to x dx minus integral of in the bracket integral of what is v? Okay. e raised to x dx. Okay. d by dx of d by dx of what is u? x square into dx x square as it is integral e raised to x is e raised to x minus integral of e raised to x will be e raised to x derivative of x square will be 2x into dx next step will be x square e raised to x minus as it is 2 outside integral of x e raised to x again i need to apply u into v this is u this will be v okay it will be x square e raised to x minus 2 into bracket x as it is integral of e raised to x dx okay the next step will be minus integral of integral of e raised to x dx okay d by dx of x into dx getting the point clearly then the next step will be the last step will be, I'd like to write here, it will be x square e raised to x minus 2 will be multiplied inside 2x. Integral of e raised to x will be e raised to x minus into minus will be plus 2, 2 as it is. Integral of e raised to x will be e raised to x. Derivative x will be 1. Again, integral of e raised to x will be, it will be e raised to x plus c we got the regular result observe the next example here x square is an algebraic function log x is a logarithmic means this will be u and x square will be v okay apply the formula log x integral of x square dx minus integral of one in bracket integral of x square dx after this one d by dx of d by dx of what log x into dx okay log x as it is integral of x square will be x cube by 3 minus integral of x square will be x cube by 3 derivative of log x will be 1 by x okay into dx one of the x term will be cancelled it will be x cube by 3 log of x minus 1 by 3 x square remained x square integral will be x cube by 3 plus c got it in this session i'd like to introduce one more new part integral of e raised to x f of x plus f dash of x dx means whenever e raised to x of e raised to x is multiplied with a function plus its derivative is given how i have to simplify there is a proper rule is there i'd like to write the term as e raised to x e raised to x is multiplied to inside bracket e raised to x f of x dx plus integral law again it is multiplied to next term e raised to x e f dash of x into dx okay it will be first term as it is e raised to x e f of x dx plus I'd like to uh, apply the u into v rule. Here I'd like to take e raised to x as a first function integral of f dash of x dx minus integral of in the bracket integral of f dash of x dx. Okay. After that derivative of d by dx of e raised to x dx. Got the point clearly? It will be integral of e raised to x f of x dx 
this term will be e raised to x f dash of x is nothing but the derivative of the function integral of derivative of the function is it will be f of x only minus integral of integral of derivative of f of f dash f of x it will be f of x e raised to x it will be e raised to x into dx okay here it is a positive this will be negative means we got the answer as e raised to x f of x plus c means how to understand the property property is very simple whenever the function is given integral of e raised to x f of x plus f dash of x dx is given means you need to write directly e raised to x and the function f of x plus c means that's it you got the answer got it okay i'd like to discuss some example based upon this this one based upon the format the example is here means whenever it is e raised to x f of x plus its derivative is given means you have to write the answer e raised to x and that function plus c got it now here e raised to x as it is derivative of sin x is derivative of sin x is cos x that's why the answer of this question is e raised to x you need to write into sin x plus c got it observe the next example here the given e raised to x into bracket 1 divided by x minus 1 by x square 1 by x derivative is minus 1 by x square that's why first function derivative is second function with the sign also it is proper that's why e raised to x what is the function 1 divided by x plus c got it observe the next example it will be e raised to x i have to alter something here let it be 1 as it is what is the formula for sin x it will be 2 sin of x by 2 cos of x by 2 okay after that 1 plus cos x formula is 2 cos square of x by 2 getting my point clearly got it integral of e raised to x split the numerator part splitting a numerator means 1 divided by 2 cos square x by 2 plus the next numerator is 2 sin of x by 2 cos of x by 2 divided by 2 cos square of x by 2 got it here 2 2 will be cancelled one of the cos term will be cancelled into dx still the simplified step will be e raised to x let it be 1 by 2 as it is what is 1 by cos square yes it will be second square x by 2 plus what about the remaining values sin x by cos x and of x by 2 now you need to understand whether the derivative of tan is second square or second square derivative is tan yes derivative of tan x is second square x and x by 2 derivative is 1 by 2 means f of x function is tan of x by 2 means answer will be e raised to x tan of x by 2 plus c got the point clearly okay i think you enjoyed the video don't forget to like share subscribe thank you one and all